Hello everybody, and welcome back to Sir Fat Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty light video for you guys. I think we we'll only have three first appearances, two honorable mentions, so only five titles in all to go through. Definitely some books in there worth considering for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearance of the week, week ending August 2nd, 2024. First up from Marvel Comics, Annihilation 2099 number 5. This features the first full appearance of Dracula 2099. Now this Annihilation title series, this hits our list almost every week with a new first appearance. But keep in mind, these first appearances in this particular Annihilation title series, these are going to be these alternate universe versions, or these variant versions of existing characters. And in this particular issue, this features the first full appearance of Dracula 2099. But unless Marvel Disney have big plans for this character, bring this character across other storylines, other story arcs, and other title series, introduce this character into a small screen, big screen project, you know, this character is just going to stay within this title series, probably go nowhere. So there's really no telling how important this particular character will be in the future. So keep that in mind with these alternate universe versions or these variant versions of these characters. You know, there's no way to know if these characters have any staying power at all. So this here is going to be a little bit more speculative than the typical first appearance in a Marvel title. You know, it still may be worth picking up for a spec, but this here is going to be a little bit more speculative. So grab this here for a spec if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list and take a look at it later on. Next up from Marvel Comics, The Immortal Thor number 13. This features the first appearance of Night Mother. Now, we typically recommend picking up the first appearance of new characters in Marvel titles. You know, Marvel Disney are still churning out a ton of media for the small screen and big screen, and you really don't know where any of these characters are introducing in the comics and may end up. If these characters hit the screen, you know, people will race back to the comics and try to find these first appearances. That being said, though, this first appearance of Night Mother, we really don't know much about this particular character at this point. But Night Mother, I really don't know how popular or how important that particular character is going to be for the Marvel Universe overall. So once again, this here will be a little more speculative than the typical first appearance in a Marvel title. So keep that in mind. Still may be worth picking up for a spec. You know, for the cover price, if this goes big, you're in three or four bucks. If it goes nowhere, you're out a couple dollars. So in our opinion, you know, the risk is worth the reward on these. Definitely worth a spec. Grab this here for a spec if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list and take a look at it later on. And finally from Marvel Comics, X-Force number one. This features the first appearance of Tank, a member of X-Force. Now this here is the premiere issue of this new X-Force title series. I believe this is volume 7 of this series. And this here is also the first appearance of Tank, this member of X-Force. So this one here is one we do think you should pick up for your collection. You know, like I just mentioned a moment ago, Marvel Disney is still turning out a ton of media for small screen and big screen. And you know, X-Force is definitely a franchise they haven't really exploited yet for the screen. So there's no telling what they may have planned for this particular franchise. So this one here being the premiere issue of this series and featuring a first appearance, this is one we do think you should pick up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. And now for the honorable mentions from Boom Comics, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Darkest Hour number one. Now we put this one here on the list because this is beginning a lot of buzz and you know the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, this franchise is huge, huge fan base, huge collector base still today. You know, so anytime there's a big event in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers universe, these are typically worth picking up for the cover price. You know, for three or four bucks here, you could be sitting on a huge winner if this goes big. And like I just mentioned, huge fan base and collector base for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So in our opinion, this one here is definitely worth picking up for the cover price. You know, this is going to be a little more speculative, but you know, the risk is worth the reward on this one. Like I said, can't really go wrong with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So grab this one here for a spec if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list and take a look at it later on. And finally from Image Comics, Rook Exodus number one, the fourth printing. Now typically we don't include these subsequent printings on our list, only the first print usually makes our list. But this one here, this Rook Exodus series, this has developed a huge fan base and huge collector base already, and this is a brand new series. And this here is the fourth print of this particular issue, this Exodus number one. You know, and like I said, huge fan base and collector base already, and this here being the fourth print, this may be the last print run. You know, these subsequent print runs, especially when you start getting into like the fourth, fifth, or sixth print run, you start getting very low, you know, short print runs on these later printings. So if this here is the last print run, this fourth print, and this is the last one, Print runs are probably going to be very low. A lot of comic shops are not going to stock this particular issue because they've probably already carried, you know, the print runs one, two, and three. So they're probably not going to carry this fourth print. So this is definitely going to be underprinted, low print run. Probably going to be a little tougher to get on the secondary market. So this one here, in our opinion, has a lot of legs going forward. You know, a lot of these later print runs for these super hot books, they do have substantial value in the secondary market for the factors I just mentioned. So if you can find it, definitely grab this one here for your collection. So there you have the five titles that we have for you guys this week. There's definitely some books in there worth picking up for your collection. 
So please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.